Yes, I welcome the debate on the recovery and resilience facility. And there is no doubt the pandemic has caused untold damage uh, to economies across the European Union. So this particular facility is very welcome and I hope it's ratified by member states and that it will have a meaningful impact in the key areas, the environment, climate and digitisation of our economies. But the significant challenge, of course, will be how we will decide in the next couple of years regarding the Stability and Growth Pact and the review that it's going through. The fact of the matter is we've suspended it at the present time so countries are able to access funding that if the event of the Stability and Growth Pact being brought back with the very strict criteria that it underpins it, well, it could have a very, very damaging effect on individual member states and destabilise. So clearly, I would suggest that over the next number of months, the review of the Stability and Growth Pact takes into account the new challenges ahead of us in the time and not looking back retrospectively as well. The other key area, of course, is we do need to have a very mature debate in this parliament across all member states with regard to the issue of own resources if we are to ensure that this fund is underpinned with genuine funding capabilities into the future. Thank you.